Mad Maddie Maxwell, written by Stacy K. B. Maslin, illustrated by Jane Shetley. Maddie Joy Maxwell charged from her room, her face filled with fury, her voice filled with doom. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, where on earth is it? My jump rope is missing, she boomed. She raced to her sister with wild, angry eyes. She caught little Julie quite by surprise. Without any shame, Maddie gave her the blame, and she hollered in poor Julie's face. Julie, you took my jump rope from under my bed. Who, me? Yes, you. Not me. Then who? Seth? She sprinted past Julie. Get out of my way. I can't stop to talk. I can't stop to play. My jump rope is missing. Goodbye and good day. At the pond with his pole, she caught brother Seth. She was red-faced and panting and quite out of breath. She thought that he'd hoped to catch fish with her rope. She knew that she'd found it at last. Seth, you took my jump rope from under my bed. Who, me? Yes, you. Not me. Then who? Missy. She stormed by old Seth. Get out of my way. I can't stop to talk. I can't stop to play. My jump rope is missing. Goodbye and good day. Missy, her big sister, so that's how it was. Maddie knew now for sure that she had it because that's how big sisters were, of that she was sure. So she charged all the way back home. Missy, you took my jump rope from under my bed. Who, me? Yes, you. Not me. Then who? Missy got up from the chair where she sat. Where are you going? Maddie angrily spat. Maybe, said Missy to her very mad sissy, you still need to look a bit harder. Missy walked over to Maddie's white bed. She bent down to look and she lifted the spread. It's dark and it's dusty. You won't find it. Trust me. Maddie knew they were wasting their time. Missy pulled out three or four magazines, a doll, a board game, and two pairs of jeans, a crumpled up dress, and a whole bunch of mess. Then she reached to the darkest back corner. It just isn't there, old Miss Smarty Pants. Where is it? Maddie shouted. I gave you your chance. But just as she said it, she came to regret it as Missy pulled out her jump rope. It was there all along, under there in the mess. With all of that junk, she never did guess. It was way in the back, under an old paper sack. She hung down her head, so embarrassed. Seth and poor Julie, Maddie said with a cry. I've been so mean, the tears filled her eyes. And you, Miss Missy, my dear big sissy, oh, no one will ever forgive me. I will, Missy said with a smile in her eyes, and so will the Lord when you apologize. Pray to him first when you've acted your worst, and then you can talk to the others. Maddie got down by her bed on her knees. She prayed to the Lord to forgive her, please. Her heart felt so good and she knew that she would go talk to her family now. Miss Missy went with Maddie, a sisterly favor. Maddie said, sorry, and each one forgave her. With hugs all around and the jump rope now found, Mad Maddie was happy that day.